In the vast expanse of the animal kingdom, a fascinating anomaly exists. The male seahorse carries the burden of pregnancy and birth. This remarkable reality challenges conventional notions of reproduction. The male's role in nurturing the young showcases nature's ingenuity. Seahorses, belonging to the Cygnathidae family, are small marine fish found in shallow coastal waters. With horse-like heads and prehensile tails, they are a marvel of evolution. Their bodies are encased in bony plates for protection. They use their dorsal fin to propel through water. Seahorses exhibit a range of colors and patterns. These help them camouflage among seagrass and coral reefs. They feed on small crustaceans using their snout-like mouths. The courtship ritual of seahorses is mesmerizing. They engage in a graceful ballet, intertwining their tails. The dance can last for several days. They change colors, showcasing vibrant hues. The female deposits her eggs into the male's pouch. The transfer of eggs from the female to the male seahorse is a delicate process. The female uses her ovipositor to deposit eggs into the male's brood pouch. The male's pouch incubates the eggs, regulating conditions for development. Once inside, the male fertilizes the eggs. The pouch seals shut, creating a secure environment. The male becomes the sole caregiver, highlighting unique reproductive strategies. The male seahorse's brood pouch is a marvel of evolutionary engineering. Inside, the eggs are embedded in spongy tissue rich in blood vessels. These vessels deliver oxygen and nutrients to the embryos. The lining secretes fluid that nourishes the embryos. The pouch shields the embryos from predators and stresses. Inside the male seahorse's brood pouch, fertilized eggs undergo a remarkable transformation. The embryos develop rapidly, nourished by nutrient-rich fluids. Over weeks, they take on the characteristic shape of a seahorse. Their hearts beat, eyes develop, and skeletons form. They develop prehensile tails to cling to seaweed and coral. Dorsal fins, essential for locomotion, also take shape. As birth nears, embryos become active within the pouch. After a gestation period of two to four weeks, the male seahorse goes into labor. He expels fully developed young seahorses from his pouch. Hundreds of miniature seahorses are released into the ocean. The newborns, just a few millimeters long, are immediately independent. They feed on plankton and tiny organisms.